Good morning. It's coffee time with Flame Monroe. What up? What up? What up? I got my coffee. Y'all see that? Dad needs a vacation every day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to coffee time. Mm. Let's get it crunkable. Let me adjust this camera, this stand, because I don't want it moving around while I'm talking to y'all. So, <laughs> when I say my what up? Y'all know I got that from Martin Lawrence because I'm a huge fan of Martin. Y'all see that t-shirt? Can't no bitch do what I do? Yeah, I'm a huge fan of Martin. And I got an inbox the other day saying that, oh, I don't particularly care for that what up, what up, what up. I, and, and as much as I appreciate you watching my show and sending your, your messages on what you think or what you don't like, I'm not changing for you. So if you're seeing this, I'm not changing for you, sweetheart. You need to know that. Okay? And that's not being mean. That's just being who I am because this is who I am. What is that string sticking out there? Did y'all see that? That's the string on the glass. This is a new pair. They're nice and filmy, too. Um, in the news today, so you need to be careful. Parents, if you have young children and you put your children in daycare, you need to be very leery of the daycare systems that you put your children into. I was never one for home daycare. I'm sorry if anybody got a home daycare and it's wonderful. I was just never one for not an open door that I can walk in or look through the glass because I might want to sneak up on you to see what you're doing to my kid. But I've always been blessed to be in daycare systems that I trusted. Uh, my baby went to Cabrillo when she was six months old. They even helped me with potty training and diapering. Uh, Leticia Gutierrez, who's still a friend of mine, I love her. She's a wonderful teacher, and she was wonderful with my baby. And this was, shit, 12 years ago. My baby about to be 13. So, yeah, you have to be leery. They, uh, the Lullaby Daycare um, House in San Bernardino, the woman who has been a daycare owner for 34 years, her name is... Um, Baptiste, I don't know her first name. She was just on the news, uh, a child with child with charged with child neglect after being of daycare. No, nothing on her record, what have you. But you never know what somebody is doing to your kid, especially when it's a baby that can't talk and can't tell you exactly what's going on. Which is why I was very leery about putting my kids anywhere, because I needed to know what was going on. It made me just comfortable with my kid. So, yeah. Please be leery of where you put your children and check on your children. Get off early one day. Take off a day and sneak up on them. Don't call. All the in-bands call and they get a chance to clean the baby and wipe the baby down. And woo -woo. You need to sneak up on that ass sometimes to find out what is going on with your kid. Because that's what you need to be concerned about. Your kid. Also, in my inbox, I got a, um, um, <laughs> a message from another a couple of my trans sisters said that they don't feel like that I'm a complete trans woman because I don't speak on behalf of the transgender community uh, nothing could be further from the truth I speak the truth because I don't see it your way or because we don't agree about how we, how we say things I mean I'm not in full support of my trans brothers and sisters uh, she says, I, because I support women so much that I couldn't possibly full on trans. Well, let me tell you my take on that, sweetheart. You ain't learn how to be no girl from watching your brother or your daddy or your uncles. You learn how to be a girl from watching a woman. I think it's disrespectful to women because we are female impersonators when we get through. Yep, you can be, you can identify as a non-binary, transgendered cross-dressing, bisexual, conforming, what have you. When you get in the bed with somebody, do you want some penis or do you want some vagina? Because you can have all the adjectives and pronouns that you need in front of whatever you just, the, the, however you identify as. Yeah, do you want some penis or some vagina? Because ain't nothing else. If it is, then I feel cheated because I had it all. Shit. So that's some bullshit. So for you girls to say, oh, Flame, I don't feel that you you understand the whole transgender experience. No, bitch, I don't think that you understand the whole female experience. Because you still got a little boy's heart and a little, and a little boy's mentality to think that you're going to disrespect a real woman that you learn how to be a woman from, from watching your mother and your cousins, your aunties, your sisters. So however you feel, that's on you. If you don't like my rhetoric, if you don't like my stilo, block me unsubscribe, don't follow, don't listen because this is free. I'm educating you for free. My grandmother always told my aunties that a woman's strength and weakness is the exact same thing, which is her loyalty. Men ain't loyal like that. Women will stay in a relationship even when they know they should have been left. Men will go out for a loaf of bread and will never come back. Queens are, will, are, can be 
<laughs> very we'll leave. We're not gonna tolerate it. When we're tired of the bullshit, we leave. That's just it. So I'm sorry that you don't agree with my rhetoric or with my stilo or with my shtick, but you don't have to. That's the beauty of America. You don't have to. You don't have to see me or hear me. Block me. Make me like Houdini. Whoop. Disappear. <laughs> Cause bitch I ain't changing my man And until you can teach me something different You ain't changing my man And that's the problem with a lot of you new millennials You think you got all the answers You don't even ask the question You can't have answers if you don't ask questions You just think you automatically know And you don't Boom there it is Cause fuck all that talking You learn so much more by listening And right now we just we just listen to respond Thank you for that comment yesterday. We truly only listen to respond. We don't listen to learn. I teach my children that. You can learn if you listen. If you don't listen, you ain't going to learn shit. Know thyself. Trust thyself. I know who I am. I only know other bitches to tell me who I am or to validate me. What am I, a parking lot? I got a ticket? This ain't the damn movie. Sit your ass down somewhere. Uh, in the news, the newest preacher to throw his hat in the pulpit. Kanye West Kardashian, cause I'm thinking that Kim is wearing the panty. Kim is wearing the pants in that family and wearing the drawers. Kanye, you a bitch ass nigga. Now I, let me say I said it. You a bitch ass nigga, and I'm not agreeing with none of your tactics or your foolery. Yep, your album went crazy, but you know people follow Jim Jones, and if y'all not familiar with Jim Jones, I said this before. Familiarize yourself with Jim Jones in Ghana. Jim Jones killed 900 people by telling them to drink the Kool Aid, and they believe what he was selling. Y'all keep following Kanye West. He's going to take you straight to the pits of hell. Because I'm sorry, baby. I'm gifted, gifted musician? Possibly. Prophet? No, ma'am. Uh, leader? No, ma'am. Uh, will I follow? No, ma'am. Or no, sir. However you want to address me. You know I'm cool with either way. He, she, we. I'm he, she, we, baby. He cash the check. She get the money. We spend it. Same bitch right here. He, she, we. He, she, we. That's my pronoun. What's your pronoun? Like, he, she, we. <laughs> Kanye West is a clown. Y'all better stop following that fool. He gonna take y'all someplace so y'all can't get out of. I'm just saying. And all this donating all this money. Donate money for what? What he need money for? He already got millions of dollars. He got Kardashian money. Fuck Kanye West money. He got Kardashian money. Boom. Uh, hats off to my girl Shangela. She just got a new HBO series coming out next spring. I love Shangela from uh, Drag Race. Shangela is very talented, very personable, super sweet person. I worked with her one time before at um, at um, J. Anthony Brown's the comedy, the J Spot years ago. We did comedy together. Very nice person. Very very nice person. So congratulations to you. Uh, if you have not watched my girl Tiffany Haddish on Sunday nights on Kids Say the Darndest Things, you have to watch this show. Tiffany is so great with these children. Oh my God. Kids do say the darndest things. And Tiffany meet those children right where they're at in their lives at this time. It's it's phenomenal. It really is a phenomenon. I appreciate watching that. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot stress enough that it is time for you to get your asses up, get registered, and get out the vote. Uh, Joe Biden is slipping in the, in the ratings. We are still very divided as a democ Democratic Party, and we don't we don't have a front runner for real to say that we can just take down this machine. Yep, they're trying to impeach him. Yep, they're trying to pull back his taxes for the last eight years. If he ain't paid that taxes in the last eight years, he ain't paid in the last fifteen. Go all the way back. He's leaving New York to go to Florida, so he don't have to pay taxes. But hear me tell when I tell you, uh, Senator Cuomo said the nigga ain't paying no taxes no damn way. Good, bad, we don't want your ass here. And you know New York is one of the highest states, if not the highest state to live in. So, baby, they ready to get rid of your ass. I'm, we ready to get rid of your ass, too. We want you out the Oval. We don't even want, not like you spend much time in there, no way. You could just be the president of Mar-a-Lago because we paying for it. They say in the last... What, three years, Donald Trump has spent $278 million on vacations. This is the same president that told y'all that Barack Obama took too many vacations, that he would never vacation. He would just stay in the office and work. <laughs> that nigga ain't worked at all unless he's working for Putin. I, Putin must got some videotapes of them prostitutes in Russia pissing on that nigga or something. Because I'm telling you, it's a, it's a story behind there. He got some over Trump's head. But Trump has something over us. He's the president. And we need to get our asses up and go out and vote. I had a converse, very interesting conversation with my, with my boy JP Justice yesterday who said that he voted for Trump because he just wanted to expose the racism. Nigga, I thought that was the most foolish answer I had ever heard in my life. And you know I love and respect you, JP, but that was some bullshit. Nigga, you sound like Steven from Django. 
you, that was a sellout ass move. So what he was going to do, kill everybody, and then you're going to be like, oh, I knew he was going to do that. If you knew he was going to do that, why would you put him in a position to be able to do that? You sound like that pussy-ass Steve Harvey shit. Oh, I wanted a seat at the table. Understand that if you if they give us a seat at the table, it's going to be two tables. One that we know nothing about because there will be a meeting that we know absolutely nothing about. They will have a meeting where they will say what they're supposed to say in front of us just to make us feel better. Then they will have a whole private meeting where we're not involved, <clears throat> we're not invited, they don't even have black servants at this one because they don't want black up in there, period. Yeah, you need to understand what you did and how you're doing this. I'm glad that you voted because at least you did take the right, you respectfully the right to vote. How you voted, that's on you and your conscience. But all that shit about, I'm just putting him in there because I knew he was going to bring down politics. He, we didn't need his help. We did not need his help. <laughs> but you know what? We all got to carry our own crosses. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Coffee Time. This is Flame Monroe. You can catch me this Sunday at The Greatest Show on Earth, which is the pageant in Indianapolis, Indiana. And Thursday night, I will be at Saul's Comedy Hole on uh, Melrose, 7 o'clock, for the Comedic Minds show. Y'all come and see me. I got 45 minutes. I'm taking y'all on a ride. November the 19th. At the Comedy Union, 5040 West Pico, we are having a show of headliners with uh, Memphis Will, Sher Der uh, Sherwin Array, and Delay. It is a show that you do not want to miss. It is going to be fucking phenomenal. I appreciate you. Tiffany Haddish, I don't know where you at right now, sister, but I know you somewhere working. I still love you. I still love you. And when you said they ready, you was talking about me. Because this, you know, this is they. You were talking about all the girls. But that would have been she ready. But this is they ready. Because this is he, she, we. He, she, we, they. He, she, we, they. He, she, we is my first name. They is my last name. <laughs> Flame on roll. This is coffee time. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't remember nothing else, put on your mirror, put in your mind, put in your heart. Can't no bitch do what I do. You need to always know that because that means you're only concerned about what you're doing. You're like a horse in a race. All you can see is full. What you can't see this way, you can't see that way. All you see is you. Can't no bitch do what you do. This is Coffee Time. This is Flame Monroe. Peace.